Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you today. I want to talk about how to set up our screen. The first thing we need to do to set up our screen is we obviously need a piece of paper. So we're going to come up into our upper left hand corner, which is our new design page or our piece of paper. Now with that up, we're going to talk about how to set up the screen. This is a very important function and it's a very simple function. The first thing you're going to question is do you want to work in inches or metric? Now it's real easy and real quick to change these things. I'm going to put my cursor anywhere along this ruler bar and simply right mouse click. Now I can go between metric or I can right mouse click and come back to imperial which is inches. Now the next thing we want to look at here is we want to look at setting up our grid. A grid is a very important thing to work with. It helps us keep perspective. A lot of times it helps us set up our lettering where we want it to just set in the hoop. So we need to know how to work with this. Again, it's a very simple function by simply right mouse clicking. We're going to go down to our grid settings. Now right now I have my grid set up at 0.5 inches, half inch squares. So each one of these is half an inch no matter how much I zoom in or zoom out this will remain a constant. Now let's go ahead and let's change it to a one inch grid system. So I've changed it to a one inch grid system. I want you to notice these gray dashed lines. That's because I have selected the color gray. One of our features in our new FTCU is giving you more control. Again, if I wanted to change this, let's change this to red. Now I like my grid as dashed lines. You could show it as dots or solid lines. Now we also have a major grid in here and I really like this. Let's say I was working with a hoop that's five inches wide. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and set vertical lines, my major grid every five inches or every five lines. In this case it would be inches because I'm changing to inches. And I'm going to leave that at purple and say OK. Now notice every inch I have a red dashed line. But every five inches I'm going to have a major grid line. So when we get to five there's your major grid line. This is really nice to have a major and I guess a minor grid to work in. It makes it very easy when you're working with designs to have this function. Now let's go back here and right mouse click again. Let's go back to grid settings. The other option is snap to grid. Now something that we have done in here that I'm real happy with, I'm going to click snap to grid right here and say OK. Now what snap to grid is is it means if I click anywhere near these intersections it's going to stay in a straight line and grab that intersection. You notice I'm not right on it but it is grabbing it because it's going to snap to the grid that I have here. So this is a really wonderful feature when you're trying to do straight lines, you're trying to do nice sharp angles. Having snap to grid is a wonderful feature. However when you're trying to do curves and and click anywhere on the screen you want and you want the point exactly where the tip of your mouse is, this is not a great feature. So remember if you get frustrated because it's hanging on to each intersection you realize you've got snap to grid on. Well what we've done in FTCU that I really like is notice when I right mouse click on this bar I don't even need to go into my grid settings. I can turn snap to grid on and off simply from a simple right mouse click I can go ahead and turn this on and off. Snap to grid is a great feature. We've now learned how to set up our grid and set up our inches. Our major grid and our minor grid. I hope you enjoyed this quick little lesson and I hope it helps you with your designs.